Is it possible to lose stubborn belly fat three times faster and make months of progress in just one week? For the next seven days, I'll be following a size back plan designed to do just that. I want to see how my body reacts and if this can be an easy way to shred down for the summer. Dude, holy sh**, that is crazy. So to get the most accurate measurements possible, I'm here at the University of British Columbia and I'm going to be getting a DEXA scan, but I'm also going to get an ultrasound of my belly. While my initial DEXA scan came in a little higher than I want at 15.6% body fat, the ultrasound will actually be the most valuable measurement. Not to see if I'm pregnant, but to measure the exact thickness of my upper belly fat, middle belly fat, and the most stubborn area, my lower belly fat. After seven days, we'll come back and see just how much these measurements have changed. Damn. So that's, that's crazy. crazy. Day one breakfast is served. Egg white omelet, celery. Let's see how it tastes. That tastes like 100% pure protein. So on a typical diet, I'll usually aim for a calorie deficit of roughly 500 calories, which results in about one pound of fat loss per week. With this diet, however, I'm eating just 1,200 calories, creating a deficit of 1,500 calories less than my body needs every day. It's gonna be a sad seven days. It's extreme, but if I can stick to it, this should lead to about three pounds of pure fat loss in just a week. The diet is called the Protein Spraying Modified Diet, and it's definitely not a diet that is for everyone. This is Alberto Nunez. In the natural bodybuilding community, Alberto is known as the go-to man to get you absolutely shredded. I figured if there's one person who would know the best approach to losing as much belly fat as possible, it's him. What are you really eating? Nothing other than, than protein, really. It's going to be chicken breast galore, canned tuna. Maybe you can sneak in like some leaner cuts of beef somewhere in there. So on a typical diet, I usually aim to consume roughly one gram of protein per pound of my body weight to prevent any muscle loss. But with how extreme this diet is, that wasn't going to be enough. I'd say anywhere between a gram and a half up to like 1.75 is a nice safe place. But also there's just a big deficit in place. So you're very limited in regards to what you can eat. So when I ran this calculation on myself, I realized I would have to eat a bare minimum of 250 grams of protein per day on a budget of just 1200 calories. It's not a pleasant diet by, by any means, but that's kind of what you're signing up for. So here's my daily meal plan. Egg white omelet with celery for breakfast, a post-workout build a size protein shake, two chicken breasts with light veggies for lunch, more chicken and veg for dinner, and guess what's for dessert? Yep, more chicken breast. Now, if I wanna make sure that I don't lose any muscle throughout this week, then simply eating high protein, it's not gonna be enough. I still need to provide my body with a reason to keep my muscles rather than burn them off for energy, which means I gotta keep lifting, but I can't lift the way that I usually do. Your weight training should probably be something that lasts no longer than like 20, 30 minutes ideally. I wouldn't recommend someone do a whole lot of cardio at all. I think steps and some basic weight training. Now research has shown that it only takes about a third of the volume to maintain your existing muscle compared to build it. This means rather than doing three sets per exercise, I could do just one hard set and that should be enough to protect my muscles from being burned off without being too much for my body to recover from. First workout is in the books and honestly, I don't wanna to speak too soon, but that felt really good. My strength was solid, energy was solid, and I was fueled just by egg whites, which is weird, but apparently it works. In fact, my first three days on the program actually went pretty smooth. I was definitely more hungry than normal, but it was manageable, and with the lower workout volume, my strength and recovery was still feeling really good. Though I did have some pretty strange cravings hit me in the evening. Jeremy, what are you eating? I'm starving. So I'm drinking some pickle juice. It's satisfying whatever is happening right now, so it's all that matters. You're on day one. What's gonna happen on day seven? I don't know. We will find out. So who knows? Maybe I am pregnant. Now, even though I'm not getting all the nutrition I need because of my strict calorie limit, I'm trying to use a few key supplements to fill in the gaps, including a multivitamin, omega-3s, and some clutch recommendations I got from Alberto. Caffeine is going to help tremendously, not just with energy, but in some people it does suppress their, their appetite quite a bit. Protein shakes, they're a little bit more satiating, I think, than people give them credit for. 
Luckily, every scoop of my Built With Size protein contains a whopping 29 grams of protein with only 130 calories, which means it can easily fit within my calorie budget and was definitely a nice treat to look forward to. And I've left the link in the description box down below for those interested in trying to know. And you can use code BELLYFAT for 10% off. All right, guys, so we are three days in, and I'm not gonna lie, I am feeling pretty good. My energy levels are solid. I've been getting my sleep in. I've been having my meals. I had my egg whites for breakfast this morning. I honestly think that I'm gonna make it to seven days. Anyone who's done this before will tell you that, oh, the first three days, especially coming off a period where you're eating quite a bit, it's like, this feels great. But by day three or four, your body is really starting to bug you. And it, it, it's like, how about we not move? It's day four. Okay. Ah, as you can tell, my brain's not quite working. And we've reached that point in the day and night where uh, it's pretty tough. Like, I don't want to move. I don't want to think. Hopefully, I can make it the next few days. Shit. I was definitely starting to feel a rapid energy drop going into the second half of the week. Oh man, it just feels like I'm, I don't have much in the tank. Every workout was now a battle to finish. Thank the Lord, it is over. This has officially reached a new level of hard. As for my food cravings, I was trying to do my best to keep my diet together while life was going on around me. But the longer I went into the diet, the crazier those cravings became. My dinner. And Jeffy's dinner. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can taste it from here. I vividly remember, yeah, right around day three, like spinach was starting to taste sweet to me. I think I'm finally starting to understand what Alberta meant about his spinach tasting sweet. Mmm, it tastes like a sugar stick. <laughs> Celery's got some sweetness to it. So when your body experiences a serious drop in calories, it starts to do whatever it can to tell you to eat. Not only can your taste and smell become heightened, but your leptin levels can decrease dramatically. Now what's leptin? Well, it's a hormone that tells your body it's full after a meal. And after just a few days in an extreme calorie deficit, leptin production can drop by up to 50%. Meaning, not only was my stomach physically feeling empty, but even the signals of my body meant to regulate my hunger were starting to go haywire. Oh, so I just woke up and a horrible sleep. I honestly just can't wait for this to be over. So to take my mind off the hunger, I tried purchasing a video game. But by this point, I was feeling so mentally depleted that I couldn't even pass the are you a robot test without asking for help. <laughs> My brain is not, I can't do this right now. Can you do it for me? Feeling absolutely depleted, the only thing left to find out is, was it all worth it? So I headed back to the lab to get my day seven results. Oh, those stairs are hurt. <laughs> but before I find out, I already know this isn't the plan I'm going to be repeating. While it was fascinating to see my belly fat literally melting away despite barely working out and doing zero cardio, it came at a cost. Trying something so extreme had me feeling exhausted, unmotivated, and like I was completely depleted. And when I did get to actually enjoy real food again, I actually had to spend the next few days resisting the urge to eat everything in sight. Diets like this are exactly what caused so many people to yo-yo diet and even develop eating disorders. You get fast results basically by not eating and eventually binge eat it all back. To truly lose belly fat and keep it off, you need patience, consistency, and a sustainable diet that you can stick to for several weeks. And I've helped thousands of people do just that by using diets they actually enjoy and can stick to long term. If you want more guidance, then after this video, you can check out our personalized programs over at builtwithsize.com. But please, regardless of what the results show in the scans, do not try to copy what I did in this video. Okay. As for my results, my DEXA scan showed that my body fat dropped from 15.6% to 14.7%. Damn, so that's pretty <laughs> crazy. It doesn't sound like much, but usually it would take me at least three to four weeks of dieting to achieve that. But what's interesting is the ultrasound. Although my upper and middle belly fat didn't change much since I didn't have too much to lose there, my lower belly fat, which is the most stubborn area, dropped by over 30%. In fact, the thickness of the lower belly fat dropped by half a centimeter. 
which explains why I noticed my lower abs starting to pop out a little more. But despite the results, I wanted to get even leaner, so I decided to continue dieting for the next six weeks, this time using a more sustainable approach. And here's how things are currently looking. My plan is to head back to the lab for one more scan to see just how much more belly fat I was able to lose, and then make a video for you guys revealing everything I did to easily lose that fat. So keep an eye out. Now, although this diet isn't something I'd recommend to 99% of people, it does show you just how important your nutrition is for losing fat, which is why I've created a quick, healthy, budget-friendly fat loss meal plan you can get started with today. And you can click here to give that video a watch next. And again, if you need more personalized workout and nutrition guidance, just head over to builtwithscience.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.